It's all you never saw Been in trouble with the law Since the day they was born Straightening the curves Flapping the hills Someday the mountain might get them But the law never will Making their way That's just a little bit more than the law will allow Just a good old boy They wouldn't change if they could Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood Those of you who just blinked, what you missed was a pretty regular event here in Hazard County. That there's the General Lee, driven by Bo and Luke Duke. If you looked up the phrase breeze lightning in the dictionary, chances are there'd be a picture of the old general himself. The boys just won the Capital City Speedway race. They're headed back home to make room for the latest trophy. And this here's Hazard County's finest. Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane. Finest in the loosest sense of the word, that is. When I catch you, Dukes, you're gonna spend your jail time waxing my patrol car. <laughs> That's right, two coats of wax. Hold on, Flash, Daddy's gonna get them Dukes. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Looks like Enos decided to join today's parade. As Roscoe's right-hand man, Enos Strait gives hope to anyone trying to make a fast getaway from Hazard's law enforcement. I'm sorry, Sheriff. <laughs> Enos, you dipstick. Pass my gun, but Sheriff. I sure hope I didn't put you in too right of a mood. Oh, you lug nut. The only mood I'm in is one for catching them Duke boys. We just won us a major race. We got Hazard's finest chasing us, and my head's still doing donuts over the size of this here trophy. What do you think, cuz? Now, this would be a good time to catch your breath. Hang on, Flash, Daddy, in hot pursuit! No.
going straight. Go left, bro. First place, Uncle Jesse. Not too bad, huh? Never any doubt in my mind that you boys could do it. I guess I should sit a couple extra places at the table. Sounds like Roscoe and Enos have worked up quite an appetite. Mr. Duke, that was the best breakfast I've ever had. Well, hello there. Howdy, miss. Boys, this here's Melanie Shaw. She's with the geology people up at the State University. They're on the field trip here in Hazard, looking for... Alright, I got you now. Enish, cuff them Duke boys and stuff them for speeding and reckless driving. Roscoe, show some manners. We got company. I do, ma'am. Hey, Daisy. <laughs> Hey, everybody. No one told me we're having a party this early. Welcome back, boys. Well, hi. Hi there. I'm Daisy. Daisy Duke. Melanie Shaw. Say, have we met before? No, I don't think so. I was just telling the boys here that Melanie is with the State University on a geology field trip here in Hazard. Yes, we're doing a survey for possible petroleum-based pockets under Hazard County. Petroleum-based? You mean oil? It's really just a part of a routine study we're conducting here in Hazard. Oil on Uncle Jesse's farm? Well, if that don't beat all. Hold on there a minute. Like Miss Shaw said, it's too early to say. And that goes for you too, Roscoe. Say, this geology stuff sounds fun. You need any help? I am a whiz when it comes to rocks. Yeah, well, you can break the big rocks into little ones at the state pen. Enish! I sure am sorry about this, fellas. Congratulate you on your trophy. Mighty pretty. Well, here you go, Enos. Why don't you hold it for us for a second? Sure, Bo. Oh! <laughs> Enish, watch what you're... Enish! Sure was nice meeting you, Miss Shaw. Daisy, why don't you give Melanie here a tour of hazard? Oh, that would be great. I do have to meet my associates downtown later, though. That's no problem at all. I'll be happy to drop you off. Now, are you sure we haven't met before? I'm sure. to do much off-road driving out here, do you? Are you kidding me? In Hazard County, off-road driving is a favorite pastime. Well, how about showing me some while you give me the tour? All right, but you gotta hold on tight now, okay? I'd better go left. I'd better go left. Go right. 
better go right. I better go right. These are my assistants, Johnny Robb and Billy Ben. This is Daisy Duke. She was nice enough to give me a tour. Now, I don't know about you, but if this is what a geologist looks like, I'd hate to be a rock. Well, it was nice meeting you. Thanks again, Daisy. Nice meeting you, miss. You don't think she recognized us, do you? Not at all. Don't you worry. By the time we're out of here, Daisy Duke will be spending the next few years in a jail cell, along with those cousins of hers, and we'll be rich. Let's go. Breaker one, breaker one. I'd be crazy, but I ain't done crazy. Cougar coming at you. Hey, lost sheep, you got your ears on? Reading you loud and clear, Cooter. Well, I'm out here at Miss Tisdale's working on her motorcycle, and I'm missing some parts, and I'm pretty sure they're on my workbench back at the garage. Swing by the garage, grab the parts, and bring them all out to you. The sooner the better, y'all. Miss Tisdale's got to finish her mail route by noon. We'll get a move on then. We'll see you in a little bit. You boys are aces in my book. Look here now, I'm crazy. Cooter, I'm down. I'm gone.
keep going straight. falls across a road in Hazard County, and there's no ramp for miles around, can the General Lee still make it? straight. We need a favor. Okay. What is it? We're over here at Miss Tisdale's, and her motorcycle broke down, and Cooter's having some trouble with the replacement parts. She could sure use some help with the mail. Let me just guess. She doesn't want to ride with y'all, does she? I'm a hop and a skip from there, so I'll see you in a little bit, Bo. That's 
the last one, Daisy. Drop me off at the post office if you would. Before you run off, drop by the garage. I got a little surprise for you. Now, if that ain't a sight for sore eyes. Cooter! Oh! The Roadrunner! Well, I've been working on it, getting replacement parts here and there for a right good while now. Thought it'd be a nice 4th of July surprise. Oh, Cooter, thank you! Thank you so much! I'm gonna drive it over to the boar's nest right now. Good. I can do that engine work on Dixie then. Roscoe and Enos never could maneuver a bend in a road team. Wouldn't you just know it? A Samaritan. Now, whether it's a good kind or a bad kind is anyone's guess. <coughs> All on the Duke's farm? Now, anyone with half sense would know that the possibility of oil on Uncle Jesse's farm was about as rare as a 500-pound possum. Roscoe, get this little lady a chair. Miss Shaw, I believe we should talk business. You know, I own the mortgage on the Duke's farm. I had a feeling, what with you being the most powerful and influential man here in Hazard County, I'd be willing to help you get what you want, if you'd be willing to do something for me. And what's that? Well, I heard that you might know where the Mean Green Machine is located. Did she say Mean Green Machine? The Mean Green Machine? Uh, never heard of it. Uh, have you, Roscoe? Well, of course I have, you... Uh, I mean, no, nope, no, never heard of it. Boss, I thought we were becoming friends here. I just wanted to see the infamous Mean Green Machine. I've heard so much about it and how you were the genius behind it. All it took was for Melanie batting her baby blues and flattering Boss Hog a little more and... Of course, you'll prove for certain there really is oil on Uncle Jesse's farm. Uh, not that I don't believe a pretty little thing like you. With the 4th of July race approaching, the boys and Cooter wanted to give the general a test run on the track of the Hazard County Fair. Let's see what the general can do here. I'm timing you, boys. <laughs> that was so pretty, we ought to frame it. Put it up on the wall down at the garage. Yeehaw! You best hold on tight back here, Cooter. Now that's what I call a sweet ride. You all right back there, Cooter? Yeah, but I think y'all need to put a pillow back here. Yeehaw! <laughs> that was 
so pretty we ought to frame it. Put it up on the wall down at the garage. Hammer down, y'all. Stand on it. Pretty, we ought to frame it. Put it up on the wall down at the garage. About the time Boss Hog was leaving with Melon, Daisy showed up. Like any true duke, her suspicions were raised at the sight of Melanie and her men riding with the likes of Boss Hog and Roscoe. And like any true duke, she just had to see what they were up to. I should see what Boss and that Melanie girl are up to, but I'd better keep my distance. Folks, let me know how this turns out. Now, why are they going out to Bobby Swamp? There's Boggy Swamp, more like Creepy Swamp, if you ask me. The Mean Green Machine. Looks like Boss Hogs had a little work done. For those of you who don't remember the last couple of times old Boss Hog unleashed this thing on Hazard County, just remember this. The last one to head for the hills is a rotten egg. You and your friends are more than welcome to inspect the insides. But first, I'd like to know a little more about the oil in Uncle Jesse's field. I've drawn a rough map to show you the exact location. Go see for yourself. Oh, the mean green machine! Uh-huh. I saw that too. With that little toy, you boys could clear out any bank or gold reserve this side of the Mississippi or level an entire county, like Hazard. Robbing banks and reserves the only reason I signed on for this in the first place. How sweet. Here we were planning to go find Daisy and snatch her up, and she was kind enough to come right to us. I know you. It's about time. 
I was worried you'd have me pegged at your uncle's place. Missy Law! But you should be... In jail? Oh, we'll have time to talk about that later. Right now, I have to make you pay for ruining my life. You know, people used to say she and I could have been twins. What do you think? Some things never change. Oh, they're gonna change in a big way. Starting with Daisy Duke going to jail for bank robbery. Tie her up. I'll be back in a little while. Whoa, what's Daisy in such a hurry for? Something's wrong. Let's catch up. Something's wrong. Step on it, Bo. She's getting away. Hang on, cuz. What has gotten into her? Lost sheep, Bo Peep. Lost sheep, Bo Peep. Daisy, slow down. This don't look good at all. Lost sheep to Bo Peep. Lost sheep to Bo Peep. Daisy, slow down. Looks like she's ignoring us. This don't look good at all. Hang on, cuz. Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, fellas, but since Sheriff Roscoe and I was chasing y'all this morning for speeding... Daisy robbed the bank? I don't believe it. And arrest those two boys, too. They were probably eating and abetting somehow. Yes, sir, Sheriff. This is Deputy Enos Strait. Over and out. Gee whiz. I just can't believe Daisy would rob a bank. You know better than that, Enos. Daisy'd never rob a bank. Not even if she was forced at gunpoint. We've got to find her. Well, I'm sorry, boys. Sheriff Roscoe said I had to arrest y'all. We'll get all this sorted out. Until then, y'all have to go to jail. Wait a minute. Venus, we ain't got time to get arrested. We're going to find Daisy. Hey, I think those are the Roadrunner's tracks. And it looks like they're headed towards Boggy Swamp. Let's check it out. I'd sure like to find Daisy before Roscoe and Enos do. Rise and shine. I don't know what you're up to, but you're not getting away with it, Missy. Daisy, honey, I've already gotten away with it. Boys, Miss Daisy Duke is a wanted bank robber. It's them Duke boys. So long, Daisy. Good seeing you.
Any more of them dynamite arrows? See if you can't knock out those barrels blocking the bridge up ahead. If I hadn't have seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. While Ennis swam to shore, Roscoe was positively tickled that he had caught the Dukes. Normally, I'd give Daisy and the boys about five minutes to wrangle themselves out of this predicament. But with Daisy being framed and Missy in control of the mean green machine, it might take a little while long. You kids all right? We're fine, Uncle Jesse. I mean, aside from being in this cell. Well, don't you worry none. I'll have you out of there in two shakes of a lamb's tail. All right, J.D., how much? Oh, I'm afraid bail won't be set until after the 4th of July. You see, the circuit judge won't be here until after the holiday. But don't you dukes worry none. You can get out on the 5th of July. What? Well, Miss Race. You know you could set that bail right now, J.D. Jesse, it's my responsibility to respect the circuit judge's responsibility. Roscoe, help me get this money back to the board. I, I, I mean, uh, uh, help me get this back to the bank. And once we drop this loot off, we'll take a trip over to the Duke farm and have a look at the O.R.L. What in tarnation put you in here? Uncle Jesse, does the name Missy Law mean anything to you? Missy Law? That girl that nearly got you sent to girls' reform school? Yes, only she's passing herself off as Melanie Shaw. The geology lady? Seems she's back in town for a little revenge. And it's got something to do with the mean green machine. What? The mean green machine? I thought that hunk of junk was out of commission. Not anymore. Boss Hogs had it rebuilt. If Missy's still harboring that grudge she's had to get you for turning her in, I suppose the mean green machine would be the perfect vehicle for revenge. Yeah, revenge on Daisy, revenge on us, and, and revenge on all of Hazard County. And to think, there was a time when she was just like a, a sister to me. Missy and I were like two peas in a pot. When we were old enough to drive, we tore up the roads just as bad as Bo and Luke. Then, one day, Missy dared me to race her to the county line.
I'm on the edge of my seat, too. Missy was raving about were smuggling moonshine. And Missy decided the two of us should take it off of their hands and run it to the next county. They loaded up Missy's trunk, but I wouldn't let them load mine. And just about then, Roscoe and Sheriff Little from Chickasaw County showed up. I had to tell the truth about what happened, and it got them into a whole heap of trouble. And she's been waiting to get even with me ever since. I should have realized sooner that those geologists, Johnny Robb and Billy Ben, were the moonshine smugglers. Now don't you fret none, Daisy. That was a long time ago. Daisy, I sure am sorry to see you in there. You too, Bo. Luke. Oh, Ennis, you have to let us out so we can catch Missy before she does something awful with the mean green machine. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy. I can't do that. I took an oath, you know. As a lawman, but, but I brought y'all some lunch. Uh, wait, wait, Bo, wait! Ah, Bo, Bo! Dang, nabbit, oil's leaking! Keep going left, Uncle Jesse. We should keep going straight. This old truck will get us there yet.
Uncle Jesse? With the boys and Daisy free to put a stop to missing, justice finally had a chance to prevail. Thanks to Uncle Jesse, of course. While Uncle Jesse put a cramp in Roscoe and Enos' pursuit, Daisy and the Duke boys got a call from Cooter. Ball sheep, bull peep, crazy cooter coming at you. Hey, I think I found something y'all been looking for. Something tells me that this is going to be what they call too close for comfort.
back there, Daisy. Hey, hang away. Now, I don't know about you, but I do believe this qualifies as walking into a trap. The mean green machine? Oh, I'm going to throw the book at you dukes for sure. <coughs> yeah, you tell them, velvet ears. Yeah. I'd love to stay and blast you all to oblivion, but it's getting late. See you folks real soon. If they've headed underwater, there's no way we can catch them. Well, one thing's for sure. We ain't seen the last of the mean green machine. Or Missy La. The mean green machine's fast getaway made believers out of old Roscoe and Enos that there was more to Missy than just Melanie. As for Boss Hog and his promise of oil on Uncle Jesse's farm, well, y'all just hide and watch. That's probably the first time a can of motor oil could be called just desserts. After Missy and the mean green machine vanished, it came time for the 4th of July race at the new county fairground. Let's keep going.
We're coming down the stretch now. The general qualified and even set a new record to boot. All that was left to do was a final inspection by Cooter and his garage. Am I seeing things, or was that Missy Law's van? Swing back around, Bo. Let's get a closer look. The only kind of closer look I'd take involving Missy would require some serious firepower. It's a pretty spectacular jump, but just sit tight and we'll see how it turns out. I'm about to score a direct hit. All I can think of to say right now is, uh-oh. We can use a dynamite arrow. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we are out of dynamite arrows. There's got to be some dynamite around here somewhere. Nice drive, boys.
That, my friends, is what is referred to as by the skin of your teeth. And, of course, Missy was nowhere to be found. Fourth of July in Hazard County. It don't get more baseball, mom, and apple pie than this, folks. Or baseball, mom, apple pie, popcorn, and pretzels in Boss Hogg's case. Here you go, Flash. <laughs> He's ready and raring to go, y'all. Everything looks top notch. What would we do without your support? Well, you'd probably finish last. Drivers, the race begins in one minute. Music to your ears, ain't it? You ready to do this, cuz? As always. Something tells me this party's just been crashed. It is my pleasure to announce the opening of the fantastic 4th of July race. Uh, boss, how about letting Rush go see it this year, huh? Uh, say what? You know the words. You know, on your mark, get set, get... Oh, you mean, on your marks, get set, go! That was more than naughty, that was just plain rude.
finish line, here we come. And it's the first place.
baby! My baby! Hey! Missy's getting away! Let's go after her. No, boys. This is between Missy and me. Look, I trust Daisy to catch her, but I don't trust Missy. Come on. Roscoe, someone's gonna pay for ruining my baby. Enish, after them dukes and that crook Missy Law. And you, you thugs, you're under arrest. Trying to race me to the county line again, Daisy? Nope. I'm just aiming to drive you right into the county jail, Missy. Seems like old times, Folks, sit tight. This won't take too long. Ain't nothing like a good-looking woman with an effective right hook. Once Daisy gave Missy her walking papers, Hazard's finest showed up to take over. And as a consolation prize, Missy wound up getting a return ticket to the state pen. While Boss Hogg was mourning the loss of his beloved Mean Green Machine, he also had the additional heartache of awarding the Duke boys the cash prize for winning first place in the 4th of July race. Of course, with the prize money, Bo and Luke were able to pay off a whole lot of Uncle Jesse's mortgage. And with the recovered bank money, Boss Hogg had even more of a reason to count his blessings. Roscoe, of course, oh, still had flash. Give Daddy a kiss. Ooh. You know, you, you need some mouthwash. And even Enos comes out on top for a change. I guess it just goes to show that in Hazard County, life is full of surprises. But it wouldn't be Hazard any other way. Yeah!